In this video, you are going to learn about the creating a C++ class and also as, as extra, I am going to show you the some header files exploration that how you can find the header files that you need and about the modules as well. So let's first create a simple uh, a class. So for create class, because you have a C++ project, you can go to the content and also there's an option if you go to set, uh, settings, you find here that shows C++ classes as here. So you'll be see all the C++ classes instead of that. Okay. And also now if you want to create any C++ class, you can go to tools, then create a C++ class. You can choose whether you say actor or non execution stuff. Let's choose the actor. Let's click on next. Now it will be ask you you can if you want you can set it as a public or private. It's on you. Okay. If you don't want to choose anything, you can just keep it just simple. And then you can choose that where you want to put. If you have any plugins in your folder, like as I did in my last video, that putting plugins in my this project file, so it's going to show you this thing. Otherwise, you can choose your project file. Then simply click on you can get, if you want you can rename it name like my uh, my G which is my game okay so kind of like that once you click on create a class you it will be going to be load up that class for you okay and just give a reboot of your or reload your visual studio and you'll be see that you have loaded everything okay so now first of all you find the a header file where you find the if you know some basic about c++ plus so it will going to help you but i highly recommend to first learn about some c++ uh, okay kind of like a mid range at last so you will be understand all of this what is the public private what is the boolean or what is the how you can call the function degree handle or opp kind of like everything like how you can add the header files and the etc okay quotation and everything okay because it's really needed so and this bb file is basically the uh, execution file or the actual file of the codes like where it's basically it's a function in a header file you create the, the functions and the function you use what will be that function will be do you can write the particular in this thing okay there's a funny thing in and uh, not as funny i always say it's very important kind of like you find after the, this three lines of or four lines of code you find a begin play the begin play is kind of like the begin play of whatever we create in Unreal Engine. Okay, it's a pretty similar like the blueprints that this time it will be only work one time. So it's mean that whenever the game will be run or this actor will be spawn in the world, it will be execution this one time, and then it will be work on the event tick. As we know that how the event ticks works, it will be work continuously in every frame frame per second so it's very fast so now you will think that bro how i can get the execution it's so simple you need to go to c++ and you find here that on the super tick event so in the super tick event or the event begin play after that in the inside of the event begin play you can see it's again calling the event begin play and the super tick also calling this thing so in the event begin play you can write code at here so it's going to be work for you and if you want to any need anything in the event tick that is to call every frame you can see they already uh, tell you and give you some uh, description about what is going to be do and you can see that it's going to be work again at here from continuously code okay that is a thing that understanding some basics and if for header file if you want any type of header file you can add the header file from here on the top like you can add hashtag then you can write include then you can add a quotation then you can choose that which file you need for example i need uh, about screen.h and it's going to be work now i can use the all the inside of the uh, about h files now the thing that the most people face like where i found the reference like this thing that the codes that i need to understand so first of all the unreal Engine code is really bad that doesn't give you a proper documentation that I actually use but they give you pretty much something that you can understand okay i will give you this documentation link in the uh, video description you can check from there or you can use our learning engine app to get this thing as well so uh, let me just give you some basic idea how it's work in unreal engine documentation uh to be honest we are still using ue 4. Point documents we are not using the 5. Point version okay so inside of the uh, four point version you will be say it's like whenever for example it's under on the c++ api reference under http so it's a kind of like http is a module for example http use most of cases like calling setting or post okay like that stuff uh, like anything with if you want to call in the internet so you can use so once you have thing it's kind of like this they give you some classes that they have 
the types of defiance that it can give you and functions that it's are available in, in the, with this thing now at here if you go to the adapt class in ihtp request like in HTTP request how you can get it and get some about about it's the information you can open this one just right mouse and click a new tab you find this thing wired they will be first tell you that what kind of a module it is that you need so you can see it's it's a http stuff now in by default unreal engine doesn't have a http uh, module now you will be have a question that bro what the heck you are mean like by default it doesn't it's have but it's not in your projects that you can use so you need to call that you need to set that then you can basically use this thing now you have a question bro how can you use with this just it uh, four words later and say just a module so yeah i'm going to explain you also and then you find the this kind of like a header like where it's the location actually it's under engine source runtime online http public a public interface and http.h that is the is location now for included as i said that for using any http request or modules uh the functions or you know the classes that you want okay kind of like uh ihttps ihttp user interface or anything you need this thing so what you need now you need this hashtag include interface ihttp request so now you can access the all the http stuff so let's add this line of code in our http so most of cases it can become if it still didn't load or even even in a compiler maybe it can be show you error about the your modules doesn't uh, define so at that point you can go to the source then go to cpp and you find that cpp build uh, cs the build cs is kind of like uh, uh, kind of like what how can i explain like it's a module part of the project that you can determine or you can decide that which modules you want you can see the public and the private modules range so you can see in the public uh, public you want as you usually can access so now let's add our module give a comma give a quotation and now just write that http so now you have that model now you have the module you added that C, uh, cp uh, the header file so you have now able to use that so um, you still have a question bro is it now load no what you need to do now you can save this thing and once you save that close this thing close your editor as well because it's uh, required to close your because um, you once you add a new module it's now required to save those things also let me just save my project uh, the maps because it's needed uh like it's a uh, test me uh test v okay now let me just go instead of that don't save okay now just close and now go to file explorer just now press uh regenerate the visual studio files so now it's going to be regenerate and reload the files if your module quotation is good and everything is your syntax is good as well so it's not going to be show you any error but if it's any ha it's have any error or anything it is going to be show you the errors that you might be what kind of a syntax in wrath so right it's not going to be work you need to change make sure whenever you add the last thing don't add comma until you add a new lines okay so now just give a simple compile like a build let's see if it's compiling any new files or not otherwise rather than i can see that it's really added some seven new files that you can see that it's compiled and it has been modified 11 files as well because we add now the http modules in our project so now we can to be honest we can easily access the files of the http stuff we can use these classes and everything like what you can do for get more definition and you know for make your life more easy you can copy these lines of code uh, you can go to the chat GPT or you know the uh, Gamini AI to search that okay with this modules what I can do like give me some examples and it will be probably give you the example also let me show you a syntax code that how you can use the chat GPT as well with this one so for using the chat GPT with this one okay you can just create a first of all a new text and then first give him the knowledge about like what is basically you want to do or what's basically you're using for example just say that i am uh, i am using ue 4.5 uh sorry it's a uh, 5.4.3 okay and 
it's a C++ project okay so now you already give him the key data, data that it's you are using 5.3 that the particular engine you are using is a C++ so he will be give you the C++ data or the codes okay now you have to write that whatever you want for example I have uh, comma I have this header file and now you put that header file that content uh, hashtag include that, that blah blah stuff and now say him that what uh, give me some example use now and also you can give in that and show me the code okay now enter now you pretty much give everything whatsoever he needs so now he'll be give you the a definition and some request modules that you can check okay so even you know whatever you can do you, you ask him to give you some reference so now he will automatically going to be wrote that stuff for you and you can see that you have, by default because it's a, a kind of like actor class you can, he also give you a simple a actor reference so you pretty much get easily that what you need to do as you can see it's also mention you that in the dependency of your project says build.css that you need to include your HTTP module so as you can see we already include in our HTTP module so it just give you some more organized it's also give you to suggest you to add JSON and JSON utilities to get JSON activities because that here is basically breaking that stuff and structure that's why so as you can see it's giving us a simple that uh, a project with HTTP that what you need what kind of module you need you need more in HTTP uh, modules dot H you need request response and genetical platform dot HTTP then it's give you a void which is basically the function stuff and it will give you the same HTTP request that is uh, HTTP modules or not and it's basically a posting uh, a request with a T series uh, to share dot reference okay and with the EPS modes and it's setting a URL for you uh, and it's a gate it's process that request and this is the process complete override uh, the on HTTP request complete it's also function so it's calling that function inside of that and it's giving you the results it's a request is successfully or it's a failed with HTTP response okay and you it will be also that that why you need to call like you need to call in your HTTP module and uh, in this way you can also use the chat GPT with your project as well if you are creating C++ because it's really easy because uh, the chat GPT can give you the blueprint code logic that whatever you need it's maybe can explain you some about the logic but it's a little hard for him to give you that accurate uh, code but yeah still there's a can be a, a mistake with by chat GPT because the you know chat GPT is the AI module it's gonna give you 100% and 100% proper scores but it will give you highest 80 to 90% uh, similar that codes that you can use you might be need some of cases they add it uh, but it's still it's still okay but whenever you give you the error codes like whenever if you receive any error you can just paste that error and it will be automatically that detect that stuff so which is a good stuff for you so it's kind of like a time saver for you don't need to go to the research that how you can use this most rest of this of this stuff okay so like that so i hope you understand all about the simple stuff so that is for today thank you so much for watching see you in the next video mr happy